Hello viewers, welcome to EQ International Magazine, India's oldest and leading solar media. And today we have Mr. Sima Preet Singh with us from Hartik. A very warm welcome to EQ. Thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure speaking to EQ. Same here, sir. Uh, sir, can you just let us know about Hartik and uh, this year in 2023, what are your product offerings? Anything uh, new like coming up uh, this year? Um, I think Hartik has been a leader, market leader in the country now. It's been almost 33 years into the industry. Uh, as an offering, we offer about four segments, four product service offering to our customers. One is our transmission distribution business, where we primarily build um, electrical and power infrastructure up to 400 kV. We're among the very few companies in the country to build uh, substations and distribution projects up to 400 kV. Uh, we've also done 5 gigawatt of solar grid connectivity so far, so almost 11 years. So we work very closely with private developers and utilities uh, for their complete EPC of their power plants, their balance of systems, substations. The second is a renewable business uh, where we are among the top three uh, rooftop solar installers in the country. We partner with uh, commercial industrial um, customers to meet their decarbonization and sustainability goals. And third is our uh, power distribution business, which is our manufacturing business. It's a very strategical business where we it helps us uh, infra arm to um, increase the delivery timeline. So we manufacture complete range right from electrical panels used in power plants, data centers, industries. And the last is a digital business where we partner with large power plants industry to meet their digital needs. So we have a campaign running which is known as Think Power, Think Hatek. So you think for power and you we offer that. And uh, recently we've uh, won India's, uh, North India's largest floating solar. Um, it's going to be installed at uh, Bakada Nangal Dam and it's going to be one of the largest uh, in the country and uh, North India ka largest. Hai. So great things happening at a, at a company level. That's great sir. And if I talk about the Indian solar market like it's a, it is at its pace. So what do you think like how to, uh, how what are the opportunities you find in the Indian solar market and accordingly what are your strategies for the uh, coming up year? You know it's a for me, it's a very nostalgic question because <clears throat> we were part of India's first solar plant almost 10 years back. So, we actually we've seen that transition happen from 10 megawatt and 50 megawatt. We bought a project. Today, 500 megawatt projects lag rahe. And uh, you know, I remember seven, eight years back when uh, you know, say two, three gigawatt was a big number. Today, India is consistently adding 15 to 20 gigawatt a year. Now there are talks in the recent conference, the, the Secretary Ministry of Power, uh, Mr. Bhalla spoke that um, India wants to increase to 50 gigawatt. That is phenomenal number. 500 gigawatt, if we have to do by 2030, these are phenomenal numbers. And I think, let me just share this uh, with you and all the listeners, all the viewers that are uh, seeing this. You know, India has won. हम भूल जाते हैं हम यू नो नेगेटिव चीज निकालते हैं इंडिया इज टुडे मार्केट लीडर इन द आरई कैपेसिटी वी आर टुडे जो हमने क्लाइमेट चेंज गोल्स हमने किए थे टुडे इंडिया अगर इफ वी सी वी आर अबाउट 17% ऑफ वर्ल्ड्स पॉपुलेशन बट वी ओनली कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अबाउट 4% ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड जो इमिशन है सो टुडे इंडिया इज अ लीडर इन आरई कैपेसिटी इंडिया इज अ लीडर इन एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन सो आई थिंक द फ्यूचर इज ब्राइट 500 गीगावाट इफ टू ऐड 50 गीगावाट भी अगर हम ईयर ऑन ईयर करें there is an investment that we are talking about in, in crores ki baat kar rahe so I think the future is very exciting the future is very very bright and very very sunny so true and as you know they are like uh, seeing it uh, like international uh, manufacturers are also jumping up in the Indian uh, market so how it will be for the Indian manufacturers and the Indian uh, distributors as so I think uh, it's a very good question because when we talk about 50 gigawatt, the supply chain should be there. We are on the infra side, on the development side, on the EPC side. But at the same time, the supply chain is also has to increase. I think now when with the PLI schemes, with other schemes, with a lot of large companies coming with announcements like PolySilicon to a module plant, I think till the time we start actually manufacturing, it's a PolySilicon to module banayenge, that is where viability will happen. But till the time we are assembling, uh, we are you know sourcing cell from China and things like that. The domestic manufacturing will not grow that much. But having said that, you know you need domestic manufacturing to grow at that pace. 
and uh, i think that you know it would be a it would be a great competition going ahead but really i think i would genuinely want that indian manufacturers to invest in r&d invest in capacity and really backward integrate their supply chain that is where the cost economics and scale would meet uh like lastly i would like to ask like any specific project that you would like to highlight that is in pipeline or you can say that is about to come many exciting things are happening at hatik um as i told you we are uh, going through a massive transition being among the top 10 in the country you know we are offering all the things right from a grid to a substation to a solar to a data centers to things like that but i think um there are two things that we are focusing on right now very strongly one is floating solar as i told you that we are in pipeline of bagging more projects and i think secondly i see a massive scope in green hydrogen also so you'll see a take now venturing out into green hydrogen in a very big way and we feel that uh, you know you have only there is one fuel that when you burn does not emit carbon dioxide and that's hydrogen and i feel india and the world to reach net zero hydrogen green hydrogen should be a um, puzzle that we can solve so these are the projects that we coming and of course the large utility scale you'll see us bidding for 400 kv projects and large projects with utilities and uh, that are mostly in pipeline and i think uh, in a month or so we can share more news uh, at the ground level that's great all the best for your future sir we <laughs> hope so thank you so much for being with us sir thanks thanks for your time